Illinois against Dan Valamont from Penn State. We're going to focus in on Valamont and Poeta out of the Big Ten Conference. Valamont only has two losses all year, and those two, you guessed it, they're to Poeta. Valamont is really a tough wrestler. He does a nice job. He's in good shape. He works hard. Very good shot to the opponent's left leg, and he's just going to say that, and there he is. He's in on it. It's hard to beat a wrestler three times in one year. Poeta winning in the dual meet and the uh, Big Ten championships. We say that a lot, Tim, in a lot of sports, how it's hard to beat someone three times. Why is that so difficult? Is it just to get a little bit overconfident? And, and in some cases, because you've won, especially if you win easy, it's really hard to get yourself motivated mentally, isn't it? Well, I think you answered your questions. I mean, the margin between the top-tier wrestlers like this or in any sport is so small. Yeah. And so, you know, it's just... Actually, sometimes the advantage moves towards the guy that has lost a couple of times when the margin is so slim. You learn your opponent's style, you have a feel for it, you can start to anticipate what he'll do in certain situations. And that all makes the match closer and tighter. there between Poeta and Valamont. They'll restart in the middle. Meanwhile, a takedown on the other match. Jordan Lean with a quick takedown from Cornell. Lean was able to upset Gregor Gillespie, the number one seed out of Edinburgh. And the guy who won at 149 pounds last year, Gillespie, not able to get by Lean earlier today in the quarters. There's two points for Poeta in on uh, Valamont. And One point escape. Good call by the referee there. Poeta, Poeta was is, uh, caught there. And yeah, got an extended shoulder there and has to call injury timeout. So while they look at Mike Poeta of Illinois with that shoulder injury, we'll go back over to the other match with Lean and Sapanzik. Lean had that upset over uh, Gillespie as you oh, talked yes. about. And He's got a great body style as far as lanky. He's flexible and really slows the match down. Does a nice job when he gets on the mat, too. But he did the job on the feet against him. Look at that low John Smith single. We could say it's a John Smith single because that was his patented move on the way to six world championships. The head coach from uh, Oklahoma State, two points for Lane. Nicely done. A lot of people call that the dart single where you're not really trying to grab the leg. You're just trying to get the heel hooked with your palm of your hand and then feel the pressure of the sprawl and move away from it. Interesting, Tim, earlier you called John Smith the greatest wrestler of all time, and I'm not going to argue with you because I think he probably earned that mantle, but what about Cale Sanderson, who never lost on the collegiate level? Well, uh, obviously it's arguable, yeah. and so uh, Cale Sanderson is also the greatest wrestler <laughs> of all time. Okay. 159 and 0. Nobody has ever done that in the NCAAs. He goes ahead and wins a gold medal. We're talking about, again, Cale Sanderson, and certainly there's an argument for him, for Dan Gable, for some others, and it's, Bruce it's, a, Baumgartner. it's a great debate. But six world championships? Yeah. Nobody's ever done that from America. All right, they're back wrestling again, Poeta and Valamont. So we'll go back over to that match here as they're winding down on the first period. It's an early takedown by Poeta, an escape by Valamont. Valamont, Penn State sophomore. He was a qualifier last year at 149. And he's Redshirt sophomore, Jefferson Township High School, Poeta in Pennsylvania. Nothing, no, no scoring yet. And the period comes to an end. Poeta chooses down. Wants to put a little more pressure on Valamon here by getting up by another point at least. And it's a smart tactic. Oh, and he gets the one point escape. There was no doubt about that. Now it's three to one. 
These two competitors seen each other third time this year. Big Ten Finals rematch. Great action, gosh. Really good stuff on the edge of the mat. The athleticism, the ability to turn the corner and re-attack. Shot by Balamont. He gets the takedown. Makes the score three to three. Did a nice job of stopping that rolling counter by Poeta. He was able to use that earlier against Balamont, but not there. One point escape for Poeta. Out in front, four to three. There's no riding time involved. Balamont shoots to Poeta's right leg. Great shot. Poeta rolls through, but Balamont just steadies. Look at that hand where he steadies himself, covers the hips, gets two. Now back to live action. 4-3 Poeta. Each have a takedown, and it's going to take who gets that second takedown, yeah. whether it's this period or the next period. It's going to determine the winner of this match. So close between these two, the number two and three seeds. And there's a takedown for Poeta. Lightning fast. I, 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 the quick twitch right there. I don't know if there's anybody faster than Poeta from a standpoint of his. It takes him about half second 